Where on earth is Cat Walski? Hey everybody, Cat Walski here, checking in with another one of our hashtag Earl Grey Pour Up Video discussions. Today we are going to be talking about some very exciting news that we just recently got, which is the announcement that Star Trek Universe will be returning to San Diego Comic Con. <laughs> Now, along with this announcement, we got not only the date, but also some idea of what the panels are going to be and some maybe some little kind of tidbits of information that may kind of explode into other things that we may get excited about on the day of. So the first thing is this event will be taking place on Comic-Con at home on July 23rd. Now, you guys remember that San Diego Comic-Con was kind of canceled for the in-person event because of coronavirus. So they went ahead and did this at home remote thing. So all the panels will be done remotely and kind of live streamed for anyone that wants to kind of view it on their own. And the Star Trek one will be taking place on the 23rd. Now, I do believe that there is some timetable kind of put out already, but I would be cautious on trying to schedule out your entire world around that specific time period because it may kind of still fluctuate. We still have a couple of weeks to go and Comic-Con is still trying to shove as many different things as they possibly can into their online schedule. So it may change depending on what's going on. But again, July 23rd, which is a Thursday, is the set date for the massive Star Trek universe to have multiple back-to-back -back panels present at the event. So what panels are we going to get? Well, the first one is actually kind of an interesting one. We're going to have the season two cast and essentially the Strange New World cast do a table read of the last episode of Discovery season two. I assume this is going to be kind of just a way to kind of remind everybody of what happened at the end of Star Trek Discovery season two. And at the end of that, they're going to be doing a live Q&A session. My personal theory is that at the end of this table read, they might show off some additional footage, which will likely be completed it's close to being completed of discovery season three so i think they're going to do a little bit of a table read a little bit of a q a or maybe even a trailer and then follow that up with a q a after that star trek universe specifically alex kurtzman does like to surprise us quite a bit during these kinds of different comic-con panels we got the picard trailer we got some of the short treks last year at the different comic-con ones san diego and new york so they definitely surprised us with quite a bit so it would not surprise me at all if they went ahead and tried to sneak something in there so that we could kind of enjoy something new and fresh and not just stuff that they've released to us that we know about. Following that panel, we are also going to be getting an extended first look at the premiere episode of Lower Decks, hosted by Mike McMahon, where he will also be doing some kind of, you know, deep and dive interviews with the main cast of the USS Cerrito. So I'm very excited about that. Obviously, this is the show that's coming up first. We got this one coming up in August. So it's only going to be just a week or so after the San Diego Comic-Con premiere event of this premiere episode. So this is going to be the opportunity for a lot of us to learn a little bit more about what this show is about. Maybe kind of, maybe, I guess, temper some expectations and kind of let people to know really what this show is going to be about, what to expect going into it. But I don't expect it to be too much spoilers. I... I would be surprised if perhaps even the preview, the preview that we're going to be getting during the Comic-Con panel isn't going to be kind of a highlight reel. It probably will be. We probably won't really understand too much about whatever the plot is of the first episode, so it may be too spoilerish. I think it's going to most likely be a way to kind of showcase a lot of the cool elements that they've been working on and what they want us to see and kind of guess, you know, kind of set up those expectations for what to expect for the rest of the 10th episode run of Lower Decks. And following up with the Lower Decks panel, we jump right into the Picard panel, where we're going to have essentially all of the heroes. You know, we're going to have pretty much all the people from the La Serena crew. Jean-Luc Picard's going to be there. They're going to have Jonathan Frakes. They're going to have Deanna Troy. They're going to have Seven of Nine. They're going to have a bunch of different kind of guests there. I think uh, Data's going to be there. So I have a lot of the good guys. A lot of the heroes are there. What's interesting is not a lot of the villains are showing up, which I find kind of strange. Again, this may fluctuate now that the announcement's been out. Maybe some of the other actors or actresses may try to jump into it in some regards to try to get a hold of, of some of, you know, some of the attention and stuff like that that's going to be going on with the Comic-Con panel. But as of right now, they're just going to be doing essentially a Q&A and reflection of the first season. But I also would not be surprised if a lot of discussion does not come up, especially during the Q&A, of what to expect for episodes in second season. So the real big question I'm sure a lot of you guys are having, which is how can you watch this yourself or keep up to date with the information being released during the Comic-Con panel? And 
Really, if you want to sit down and watch the shit, the, the shit. <laughs> really, if you want to sit down and watch the show live yourself, you can do that through the Comic-Con YouTube channel. I'll have it linked down below in the description for you to get access to and to subscribe and hit the notification bell for them if you want to keep track of it there. I will be live tweeting during the event. I would like to live stream, but the internet and the hotel I'm at will definitely not allow for all that nonsense. So I will be live tweeting during the event. So if you're not following me over there on social media, definitely do that so I can kind of continue to release information while the panels are going on. And then, of course, I will be doing follow-up videos. So if you're not subscribed to this channel and you want to keep up to date with what information is being released, also subscribe to this channel, slap that notification bell, and you'll be able to keep up to date without having to sit through hours and hours and hours of panels. You let me do that work, and then I'll give you the good stuff later. All right, guys and gals, that does wrap up today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please throw up that like and subscribe, and go ahead and get your ideas and theories about what kind of information we're going to be getting that we haven't gotten released from in side of the Comic-Con panel. Do you think we're going to get another Discovery trailer? Do you think we're going to get maybe some kind of Strange New Worlds preview? Maybe like a highlight reel of behind the scenes sets or something like that? Do you think we're maybe going to get some more information about Lower Decks than what they're leading us to believe? Or, or maybe even some more information about Picard Season 2? I'm curious to hear what you guys and gals think may come up during this panel. And also tell me what you are most excited for. Get those things up down below and we'll go ahead and get the conversation started. Live long and prosper my trekkies! <laughs>